How you going guys? This video is on a handy little brush called Smooth Groups. As you can see I've pre-prepared some masking, just made a funny little face, nothing special. Gonna go to wireframe, poly mode, polyframe mode, we're gonna hit control W and that's gonna give us our poly groups. Now when you can zoom in and have a look, they're not exactly the neatest lines in the world. So, using um, our shift key, we get smooth groups. You'll find that in the Lightbox Brushes Smooth folder. And all you do is hold your shift key and drag it along the line. And it gets rid of all the nasty jagged edges and gives you a nice smooth group. So... We'll just quickly smooth this out. If you do it long enough, like keep going back and forwards, it'll eventually straighten, but depends on how bad the wobble is. So come down and it's basically just smoothing out each group. Right, we'll go up to the eyebrows. Do the same thing. Very good if you want to do scroll work and stuff like that with your masking and then use your smooth groups on your masking and you can pull it out either through edge loops or through um, edge loops and group loops panel loops, whatever you fancy, we'll do the mouth, you can up the size of it and just drag it around, just do that, zoom in, where it looks horrid you can just keep going back and forwards till it smooths right out. But for this purpose, we'll just think that's good enough. Sorry about my mic too, I only have a crappy little PlayStation mic. So, there's your smooth groups. And that just gives you, you can now do like group loops. It's got multiple subdivisions, we'll lower that. We can now go group loops. <coughs> It'll process that. Right, and then... You can isolate it if you wish. Or you can go move, alt and tap onto your surface. And then if you hold control after you've done your group loops and pull out, that should, oh, if you tap it, hold shift and control and tap it, that'll mask everything else. So now hold control and pull it out and see how much of a nice edge you get. Just pulls out a beautiful nice edge all the way around your group loops, which you got from using your smooth groups brush. And then basically unmask, turn that off. You have nice edges, very good for doing hard surface stuff. I've just shown you with a silly face for an example, but that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.